friends we are studying a wonderful phenomena seen in the nature there is a material transparent material known as tourmalin crystal tourmalin crystal okay i put it in my hand and i am seeing a chair there is a chair i am able to see it clearly now this tourmaline crystal i put here and see through it still i am seeing the chair no problem now i have this other tourmaline crystal i put it here again i see i am seeing the chair no problem and now i rotate this a eh, this way when i rotate this what i find the brightness of the chair has become less brightness more less lesser and now the chair is not visible to me it is fully visible it is not visible this was a wonderful experience experiment of the light and we don't know the reason for that there was a lot of research how this can happen and we found a quality of the light and that quality is polarization that we will study now how we could know it we studied the tourmaline crystal the tourmaline crystal inside the molecules are set in such a way that it has made certain windows openings path of the light and these windows are unidirectional that means this is one window this is other window this is third window this is fourth window and all windows are directional they have polarity in this direction if i rotate it the direction of the windows will change now if their direction is this way then this is the opening anything of this size comes here it can pass but if something comes in this polarity this will get stuck it will not pass this is something which comes to our mind and with that we searched and researched and found this theory of polarization now what is this theory this tells us that light is light is form of wave and the waves of light have a directions the vibrations of light have a direction and they are polar what does that mean i tell you very clearly very simply how there can be a direction the light is generated by basic by oscillation of electron inside an atom when there is a oscillation of electrons which is a accelerated motion that creates an electric field and that electric field we term as light now an electron has oscillated this way it has formed light and that light carries the signal of that atom it has come from that atom and all that light of the material which comes to my eyes give me the image of that material okay now there is another electron that is also oscillating but see the direction of its oscillation is this way this x this was oscillating in this manner so electric field was this way it is oscillating this way so its electric field is this this has got electric field this it is coming to you this has got electric field this it is coming to you now this electric field has got a plane which has got two ends 
its polling direction is this. This electric field is also polar and its direction of vibration is this. And these two are coming to you. Are there only two? Answer no. There are millions. Some electrons are oscillating this way and this is their vibration. Some this way their vibration. So, if a light is coming to you, I would like to express it here. It has certain vibrations in this direction, certain vibrations in this direction, some in this direction and some in this direction. That means all the directions it has got vibrations and it is coming to you. This is the light and whatever small quantity of this light comes to me, I am able to form the image of the source of this light. That is how we see the things. Okay. Now, this light is coming to you like this. Now, if I make a uh, side way, then the side picture will appear like this. It is coming this way. No? Now, I make a side picture this way. Here, there are these vibrations represented by this arrow and there are these vibrations I represent by a dot. This dot means this vibration, this means this vibration. So, this light has vibration in both the direction and the rest of the directions are included. Then it is here. And this light is moving in this direction. This is in this direction. This is front view. And this is side view. Here is the velocity and here is y section, z section. Y section, z section and here is the velocity. Okay. This is, we represent this light. Now, this light is transmitted through tourmaline sac. Tourmaline crystal has got molecules set this way. Now, when the light comes here, the light has got vibrations in all the directions. Let us say these are the two main directions and the light is incident in this way. This is. When the light comes here, see the two vibrations, this one. This one strike here and it is stopped. Here, stopped. Here, stopped. Here, stopped. Here, stopped. Everywhere we find this vibration strikes something and it is getting absorbed. Now see this vibration. This vibration we find without striking any molecule it has passed without striking any molecule, passed, without striking, it has passed. That means all the vibrations which are in this direction will pass through the tourmaline crystal and all the vibrations which are in this direction will pass, will not pass through this. They will be absorbed by either of the molecules everywhere. So, when it passes through, after that what happens? This is the tourmaline crystal, from there the light is coming and half of the vibrations have been absorbed and half are coming to my eyes. What do I see? Answer, I see the same thing what is there. If I am seeing a chair without any crystal, I put a crystal here, I see the same chair. What is the difference? Answer, the difference is earlier without crystal, if 100 rays were coming, 100 waves are coming, now the waves coming are 50. 
does it make in the image of chair? Does it make any difference to the image of chair? Answer, no. Details, there is no difference. Because a very small number of waves coming from the chair will form the image and I will be able to see the chair. Then, what is the difference? The difference is in the intensity, in the brightness. The 100 waves coming from the chair make it very bright. The 50 waves coming from the chair make it less bright as if the chair has been put in a shadow. So without Rodman crystal, it appears as if it is in the sun. With crystal, it appears as if it is in the shadow. So what has decreased? Answer, intensity has decreased. And what is intensity? You know, it is energy per unit time, per unit area. Okay. So now, this light is coming to me. This I represent here. This is the light original and here I put a crystal. Now when I put the crystal here, what is the shape of the light? Here. Now I get this. This thing, this vector of the light is missing. This is, this vector has passed through because it was having, this crystal is having all the windows set in this direction. I can't make it out. There are different uh, methods to make it out. But say if all are in this direction, then these are the vibrations which will come out. This light and this light. What is the difference? The brightness will be less if I see the object in this light. Now, physically, there is a change in the name. This I will call polarized light. Polarized light. Why? Because here, it has got all the directions. Here, they have one direction. Once they attain one direction, we say they have become polarized. So, this is polarized light and the brightness will be half of that. This is polarization of light. Okay. Now, if this light is polarized or not polarized, how do I know? Then, what I do? I put another crystal here. Another crystal here. Now, this crystal has also uh, windows in a certain directions. I don't know what direction. But one thing I know, I start rotating it. I find at one position, it is giving me the full view. As without this, with this, I am seeing it here. I am observing it here. Without this, there is certain brightness. With this, the brightness, yes, same brightness. Now, the brightness has decreased. Now, it has decreased. Now, it is no, no more there. If it happens, if it happens, I will declare that this was polarized light. If this does not happen, like in this case, if I rotate this, if I am keeping it this, this vibration is coming, I see the chair. If I rotate it this way, this vibration is coming, I see the chair. If I rotate it this way, this vibration is coming, I see the chair. So, in whatever direction I rotate it, I see the chair. So, I will declare that the light which is coming is unpolarized. But in this case, when I rotate it, I see the chair in one direction, but when I turn it by 90 degree, then I don't see the chair. It just become blank, nothing. So, then I declare the light which was coming was polarized because this polarizer, this crystal has window only in one direction 
that will show me the chair when the waves coming are having this direction of vibration and if I turn it this way then light doesn't come to me and I see darkness there. Suppose these are coming in this direction, this direction. So when I put it this way I see full bright chair whatever is the brightness here and when I rotate it 90 degree I see it is dark. What does that prove? That proves that this light is a polarized light. So how do we know whether a light is polarized or it is not polarized? The answer is with the eyes we can't make it. We need help of this crystal and we have to keep this here and rotate it. See the object through this. If I am seeing the object with certain brightness, change in brightness, change in brightness, brightness finished, then I will say the light is polarized. If same brightness, same brightness, same brightness, then I will say that light is unpolarized, non-polarized. So this light is unpolarized. This is unpolarized light and this is polarized light. This polarized may be like this or this may be like this. This shows that these vibrations are in one direction. This shows that these vibrations are in this direction. So it may be either this or this, either this or this or in any direction. Now this crystal here what it has done? It has polarized the unpolarized light, polarized. So we give it the name polarizer. What is the job of this crystal? The same crystal, same type of crystal. But here it is not polarizing. It is just analyzing for us whether it is telling us whether this light is polarized or not polarized. So it is analyzing for us. So we just simply call it analyzer. Basically both are polarizers. Both can be used as analyzer and polarizer in place of each other. They have got the same nature. So this is polarized, unpolarized light, polarized light, vibration only in one direction. This has to be cut by something which is known as polarizer. Okay. The intensity become 50 percent. This is polarization of light. Now in the next lecture we will see how do we do the polarization and what are the rules which are dictating polarization. Thank you.